Good morning, everybody. It's Lori, and I am getting ready to go on a bike ride. Uh, training for Pelotonia. My bike's in the back, and, and I thought I would bring you along today. I'm um, nothing too exciting. I did mention earlier that I would show you my road ID, um, and this is good for um, bikers, joggers, depending on what product you purchase. Mine is this is this little metal piece. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, um, but there's words on it. It just has my name. It has my mom's name on it. My niece Sarah. Uh, that I had bariatric surgery, high blood pressure, I'm diabetic, and then it says, we are proud of you. This is my old one, because I forgot to grab my new one that my niece Sarah bought me. Um, we had to take my mom off and some other, she put some different stuff on this one. But the thing I love about these, the ones she gets me, they come with a plain band, but I put it on different bands. So I have my work ones, this is for Pelotonia. We get these every year. Usually I put it on this one, but I'm gonna use this one this year. And I wear it. I usually just keep it on now. I'll keep it on until Pelotonia. Um, but if I were to wreck my bike, get into an accident, I have contact information that it's like a medical ID, but you put anything on here that you want that they need to know. So why do they need to know that I had bariatric surgery? Well, if I was unconscious and let's say they needed to intubate me to help me breathe, they have to know that my stomach has been altered because it could be dangerous if they don't know that information. Diabetic, you want to know, obviously, because blood sugars can go up and down. And I don't have high blood pressure anymore, so we took it off my other one. So, yeah, yeah, that's my road ID. Um, that's my bike back here. It's a Trek Lexi, Lexa, Lexa. Um, small frame, it's short because I have short legs. Um, I have to dig it out of the back end of my car, but I bought this car because it fits in and I don't have to put it on the rack. Um, having some coffee, like you do. Now today, since it's only my third or fourth time out before sur or after surgery on my shoulder, um, I'm only doing 20 miles, so 10 out, 10 back. I brought two water bottles, one full of water, one full of power or Gatorade Zero. And I made, so if you're interested with the keto stuff, I also freeze my water bottles because um, it's hot and they'll melt. And then I brought an extra one to drink, a couple drinks before we head out because I'm having coffee. Um, I made these last night. And if you're keto, you know you need fat as fuel. So these are the peanut butter cookies that I make. I threw some chocolate chips just because. Um, but this is a healthy amount of fat for me. Like it's like a protein bar, but it's a keto fat bar. And it's portable. Uh, one recipe made eight bars or will make 16 cookies if you use a portioner. The recipe for this was or is now I got chunky peanut butter this time just because I thought some texture would be nice but the recipe for this is one cup of natural peanut butter peanuts salt that's it no canola sunflower oils added no sugar even coconut sugar is sugar so I buy the natural the, this is the Kroger brand um, yeah and it's that's it. so it's one cup of the natural peanut butter. I put four tablespoons of my Lakanto, which is monk fruit sweetener and one egg. And then here I chopped up half of a Lily's chocolate bar and put it in the whole mix. So I calculated total that this bar has six carbs, a little higher than what I would normally do with the chocolate, but I feel like riding 20 miles, I'm okay. And it really, I had half of a hamburger for breakfast, so this is a meal for me too. Um, if I'm making them just as a treat, I wouldn't add the chocolate. Chocolate and peanut butter are delicious together, but the carbs add up pretty quickly. And then I get these zip top baggies at the Dollar Tree, and I brought two in case. I will put one in the pocket of my jersey, and I will put leave one in the car, just in case when I get back, if I'm super hungry, I will have it handy. I like to always bring enough with me. 
to um, make sure I have enough food, but also so if I do get hungry, I don't make poor choices. Um, when I ride in Pelotonia, which I'm only doing 25 miles this year because my surgery, which was necessary, but it put back my training. I'm just now starting to be able to get on my bike and marginally comfortably ride. Like, I will have to ice this down tonight like nobody's business. I don't care. Um, but for Pelotonia, I will probably bring a bar and maybe some beef sticks and some pickle juice. Um, the pickle juice is good for keto because you lose more salt out of your body and a shot of pickle juice does amazing things especially even if you're not keto and you exercise a lot and sweat a lot pickle juice replenishes that salt level super fast so this is what I'm preparing this morning for the ride I have a helmet always wear a helmet I have gloves that I wear um, because if not I will end up with blisters or sore hands um, I have a road, it's called a road bike, so it doesn't sit up, I lean forward, like a 10 speed, and you lean up, puts a lot, a lot of pressure on your hands and shoulders, A, the, that's why I will hurt tonight, but the gloves help keep your hands, I'm wearing tennis shoes, biking shorts, because they're padded in your butt and crotch, because the seat is tiny, it's a 10 speed seat, it's hard, and it hurts if you don't wear padded shorts, so... I went to the Trek store last night. I went out riding on 4th of July. I only got like 11 miles in and two flats. Ooh. I was like, what the heck is wrong with my bike? So I was riding back and I got a flat. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I found a shady spot, sat down, changed the wheel, put it back on, filled it with this CO2 cartridge that really doesn't do it justice, but it doesn't fill it up to the 110 pounds of pressure or 100 pounds of pressure that I need. Um, And then I put the new inner tube in, got it in, started pedaling, and it goes flat again. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with my bike? So I walked it home. It was about half a mile from home. I walked it home, got it in the car, went to work yesterday. Last night, I went to the Trek store. And that's Trek, T-R-E-K. It's the brand of bike that I bought. Um, and there are two stores in Columbus that strictly sell Trek. Um, and that's where I bought mine. So I went back into the store and I asked them to change the inner tube and look in my frame and see what was going on in the wheel frame because something wasn't right. And I also needed another spare. Um, and when I get home, I'll take you on a tour of my bike. But in the back, you, um, I have a little bag and it holds my emergency kit for flat tires. So I used my emergency spare tire. So I needed to replace that. Um, so we did that. We talked about that and then we noticed I need a new brake pads, but I can't do that till next week because I needed my bike for this morning and I would have had to have left it for any major repair. But then we looked at my front tire, the rubber tire, and it needed replaced. So I had them replace that tire, the inner tube, and then I bought an extra inner tube and, oh, I bought some new gloves to the tune of $156. I will tell you, bicycling is awesome, but you really have to, like anything, you've got to keep up with your bike. And I do. I have it this fall. I will take it in for a tune-up and have them, you know, replace some of the cables. I've had my bike about seven years, so things need to be replaced. If you don't, you're going to end up causing damage that you, you know, is irrevocable and you'll ruin your bike. And I will tell you that I paid more for this bike than I did my first car. Yeah. But I love it. And again, I've had it for seven years. It rides great. It just needs some fixing. I need new pedals. I need to replace the cables that change the gears and things. It needs a good cleaning and a new, some new wraps, things like that. All right. Well, it is 842 and I need to get out and get ready to ride. Um, I will bring you on the trail with me. All right. Talk to you in a minute. At the shoe at the 10 mile mark. Thank you very much. Of course. We made it 10 miles. Yeah, we're right at 10. I mean, this is like a uh, frame of reference. Whoo, hot. Yeah. Good trail ride. Too busy to video, but yeah, we'll yeah, try on the way back. Stake, uh, one time. All right, here's my bike. 
we have my handlebars with the holder for my butt phone, two water bottles, one with water, one with Gatorade, a pouch to hold emergency kits, and the main thing you need is for your inner tube changing kit. So that's Speedy. I've had her for seven years. It's a Trek Lexa. All right, folks, I'll be back at you. Hi, guys. I'm all showered and done with my ride. Oh, so hot. Sorry if it's bumpy. I'm in my car. I'm hoping to go get a car wash and vacuum. It's hot and I am all kinds of sun done for the day. It was super humid. But I want to finish up my video and tell you that I hope you enjoyed a little bit of insight into my daily bicycling. When I, well, it's not daily, but when I go out for a bicycle ride. And if you have any questions about my bike or how far I ride or Pelotonia, which is a fundraiser, I made some iced coffee in my Tim Hortons plastic cup because that's delicious. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, I just want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and you have a good one. Bye.